there's a, a clear business case now for doing it, not just a moral case, not just a legal case. Obviously, we've got the Equality Act, which means that you, you're not allowed to discriminate against people with protected characteristics. You know, the moral case is it's really just the right thing to do. But now there's a clear business case. You know, there's plenty of research out there. There seems to be something comes out pretty much every week showing how it is a positive impact on the bottom line so yeah, yeah. if you, I think if you're ignoring this as a, a business leader you're ignoring you know money and actually you need to be addressing this as part of your yeah. business planning you're also of course ignoring the you know the best talent coming through you know if there's more people coming into the industry from more diverse backgrounds that they're, they're going to choose organizations that are putting this front and center of their agenda aren't they so so you're potentially missing out on on your future leaders and, and so on and I think a lot of people you know don't necessarily think about that either yeah especially the younger generations they were you know whether they fit in a you know underrepresented group or not they want to know that the organisation they're going into cares about its people. Yeah. And, you know, they will choose organisations that can demonstrate that they are. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the case is there, isn't it? Moral, legal, um, you know, in the race for talent, profitability, bottom line. I mean, there's so many reasons why, why it needs to be front and centre.